Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMRN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Monday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And as I talked about in Monday's video, uh, you know, with the late day surge, it was looking like uh, today could have been quite interesting, and it was definitely a, a good solid day, assuming you're you know bullish, of course. So first thing I'm gonna do is a little house clean and just get rid of that line down there. Sure, that level still uh, you know pertains to the chart; it's just not relevant right now. And from the presentation point of view, I don't want to risk causing confusion because there's clutter and lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So going into today right here at the 17 10 mark was that area of resistance, but now with the price well above it, that would be one of the newest areas of support. The ideal level of support when you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price could say up there above 1750. With that being said though, if the price falls below 1750, I'm not saying that implies the entire chart's destroyed or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could stay above it, that would definitely be a huge sign of strength. Now, as far as where the sellers are all hanging out at, Main level right up here at, uh, what is that? $17.80 on two separate occasions today. The price tried to get up through there and couldn't quite do it. So I'm not saying it's impossible to break through that level. I'm just saying that as, as far as the story that's being told to us via the chart, apparently there are quite a few sellers sitting up there currently at 1780. Overall though, the, the key thing that's been occurring is just chipping away with the higher bases. So ever since you know the, the downwards move here, things finally stabilize, and then from that point, you know as long as these lows keep getting higher and higher, or if you want to picture those as stair steps, that's really what it's all about. So as long as the price keeps on chipping away with those higher lows, then just sit back and let this current you know movement do its thing. Uh, but another very healthy day, and as long as the price goes through those healthy consolidations and builds higher bases, like I said, just sit back and enjoy the trend. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.